Yes, hello YouTube. Just had one of these uh, Craftsman Extended Capacity Packs and uh, just had a quick little pointer if you're trying to uh, disassemble or remove the batteries from one of these. Uh, you know, if you have a pack that's completely dead, all the cells measure, you know, you measure all the voltages and don't get anything, you can probably be a little uh, less careful, but um, this is the like the, the positive side, and that goes across, and then uh, over here, there's a tabs between these pair of, two pair of cells, and then that, of course, goes over here to these two. Uh, so if, if these cells were charged, you would have 8 volts between these and you'd have a total of two cells in parallel and another two cells in parallel and you could get quite a quite a current between there so to be safe uh, what you can do is if you're lifting these tabs off you can lift the tabs on this end of this battery or two battery cells here and then flip the pack around and then lift you can then lift these for here because these are all uh, connected together so if you you know you work in here from this side loosen up those and then I found you can get under this center of the tab and pop these up and then stop at that point because once again you've got potentially 8 volts and you know two parallel two sets of parallel cells uh, connected here but you could then flip around and then loosen these packs what you don't want to do is you know start going across you know peel this one up peel that one up you know because you if you connect you know this piece of metal to that piece of metal you know, you could have uh, potentially 8 volts between these two points and quite a bit of current you know two if you had two fully charged cells and then two more fully charged cells you know you could easily get you know tens 20 30 40 amps of of current out of that no problem so yeah you just want to be a little careful with these you know don't uh, don't be uh, doing it on a metal table or um, and like I say, if you if you want to just cut these off, if you're planning to just get rid of the battery uh, management board altogether, uh, you can at least simplify your task. Yeah, so just to show you what I was talking about here, I just have snipped these uh, all these uh, tabs off. These end ones with just two pieces are really easy to remove. Then you just uh, uh, can grab the tab like uh, if you ever opened a can of sardines or a, you know any of those flat tins and just roll the tab up in the uh, pliers and if you do this end one there's nothing uh, you know it's all by itself uh, you can do this other end here with the two cells and then the uh, if you work on the two I've already done Let's see, I've done this end with the four cells. This is the one, these middle ones are kind of tricky because this this is part of this tab and it's just right next to this tab. So you really don't want to work on this one uh, until the very end. Then you can just come in with your something like some needle nose pliers. I probably can't do this with one hand here but you just pretty much roll that uh, off so you can see right there I just grabbed a hold of the tab and then just twisted the needle nose pliers and it popped that that piece of the tab off and then what you want to do is just move uh, reposition over to the other one get that piece of metal out of the way so I'll show you that part yeah so now I've turned everything upside down I've got this piece of the tab sort of bent out of the way so I can get my tip of the pliers there 
and then you can just roll that piece up, roll this upward, just like you're rolling one of those uh, twist keys on a you know a can of sardines. Uh, you know you destroy the tabs, but if you're not going to reuse them, it's not worth uh, trying to save them because it takes a lot of time to do that. So I'll show you once I get this one removed. So there, I've just rolled it up on the tip of the needle nose, just rolled it right off, made a nice clean uh, uh, separation there so I can, uh, you know, if the cells are in any of those are usable, I can reuse them again, and then that way I can get the, get the pack torn apart in as short a time as possible, and then, you know, I'll test, test the cells I can uh, find if there's any that have any possible life in them, I'll take those out and uh, and then for the final one you can do these are I think the two this is the most dangerous connection because it's really close right here and you also have to come across you know if you come across this way these are separated now and also these are separated. Start with the easy ones and then work your way to the middle and if you do this one last everything's isolated. Now I'm not planning on reusing any of this. Uh, the only bit of of this pack I'm going to reuse is this uh, this piece and I'll reuse the little uh, I'll take this connector off right here, the little fuel gauge connector. If I had five newer boards, I might look at trying to save them. But since I have five older boards, I think the best thing is just to get rid of them because they don't seem to uh, do a whole lot. <laughs> they're, they're very finicky charging. Uh, you know, the fact that all five packs of these that I got with the older... Uh, battery management boards, they're all dead, and the four packs that I bought before that had the newer battery management boards, out of those 25 cells, there, there were only two dead cells. Uh, with these, uh, I've already tested 20 cells and have none that actually worked at all, and I might get a few out of this pack, so it seems like these older battery management uh, boards were not very good, which is probably one of the reasons there are newer boards out there. They probably had, uh, you know, problems with batteries dying early deaths because these boards, these early boards, for instance, this board isn't even conformally coated. Basically, all I want is a connector post inside, and I'll have the bottom of the case, which is this piece, and I'll keep the fuel gauge, so, and then I'll use a, a smart battery charger. I don't think there's any circuitry on there to uh, do a very good uh, balance charge. So that's probably why there's a pretty high failure rate in these uh, early packs. So get rid of the bad parts. I'll keep the plastic is still good. <laughs> I'll use the plastic and put new uh, new battery technology inside.